Hey y'all, it's Jessie here and I am going to open up a Dreamer design kit that I'm going to get kitted up and I'm going to show you my first finish of 2024. So I think every time that I film a video, I'm going to try to unbox a kit. I think I've told you that I have a lot in my stash that I've never opened and I really want to make sure I get everything open and make sure there's no problems with the kits. So I'm going to get this one kitted up. Let's talk about first, what do I have kitted up? So underneath my couch on my puzzle board that I can work on when I'm watching TV at night, I have the elephant in the dream. It is about three quarters of the way through, so I should have a finished video on that pretty soon. Then I have um, Moon Goddess kitted up, but I decided I actually don't want to start it yet because it's really big <laughs> and I'm a little bit intimidated by it. I also did kit up Soulmates for the DAC 2024 challenge. It's the oldest kit in my stash. However, when I looked at the canvas, <laughs> I ordered that one in 2020, early 2020, before any of that virus stuff started happening. So it's really old, right? And it turns out DAC has improved their products so much that I'm looking at the grid and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, this, this makes me dizzy looking at. So I kind of wanted to get started on something else that's also around so I can kind of compare them. And I don't really want to do that one yet either. So then I was thinking, wow, I've done a lot of DAC lately. Let's get some Dreamer designs. So I went into my room, my stash room, and I picked up the smallest Dreamer design box I had because I decided that would be a quick and easy one to do in the meantime. And this one is the Sea Turtle Mosaic. I ordered this Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I don't remember which. I think it was actually Black Friday because there was another sea turtle on the website that I really liked. And I waffled back and forth for so long on which one I should get because it was a buy one, get one code, which marketing gets me, always makes me order more than I actually wanted. And so it was like I was trying to fill out the order and could I find something that had the same cost and blah, 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 blah. So do you see, or Dreamer Designs, they have these nice little carrying handles on their boxes, but I'm just gonna toss this box to the side. Now they come wrapped in a lovely bag. And once I get that bag open, it's tied up like a present. I love these ribbons. I save these ribbons for other craft projects. So I have a pile of them and they get used pretty frequently. Let's go ahead and look through the toolkit first. Now, if you diamond paint frequently, you already know what's in these toolkits. They're pretty much the same no matter where you get them from. Um, I did a toolkit comparison video recently, so you might have already seen Dreamer Designs. It's in this lovely suede bag with a silken cord, very luxurious feeling. Um, I keep the bags. I um, think I mentioned I use them for stocking stuffers. So they kind of get things wrapped into them so they're hidden, but I don't use a lot of extra wrapping paper. So I have a good stash of these, but I don't keep my toolkit in the bag. So once I take the stuff out, it'll stay out and I'll put it in my toolkit organizer. All right, so what's in the toolkit? We have the AB placer pen. You can also put a multi-placer on this side. I wanna do a video showing you all how these pens work because if you haven't used the AB placer pen, this thing is a game changer. The little bitty opening means not very much wax is exposed. And so the wax doesn't jump out onto the AB pens the way it does if you use a normal pen. And then you don't have to use any sort of weird putties or anything that you buy separately. I know some people really love to buy all the putties and I don't like to buy all the putties and the trays and the funnels and 3D print this and 3D print that. You can really get a lot of stuff for this hobby, but I don't think it's necessary. They really do include almost everything you need in the kit. Um, the only thing I feel like you really have to get is containers. I don't, I don't see how you can do this without somewhere to kit up to. So you have your regular pen. It is clear and glittery. Oh, I swore this was a round. This is a square. I've got tweezers. I might not be doing this one, might be opening a different one. You have two containers of Dreamer Design Wax, good wax. I have the squishies to go on the pen. I have what looks like a three placer. The six placer, Dreamer Designs use that, uses a slightly wider six placer than Diamond Art Club. Um, I like the six placer, it places really well, but I, I've started liking the thin ones better. Um, you get this tool that you can use to straighten the drills. I don't actually use it. I sometimes use a credit card to straighten my drills and sometimes I just let my drills stay a little wonky. Lots of people who open Dreamer Designs kits are really excited to see how big their included tray is and they're really confused to see what this thing is. And this is actually a divider that can go into the tray so you can use two colors at once. 
and it does really, it keeps them separate. You can shake it. The only thing is, is when you're ready to pour out, you do have to kind of be careful. So, you know, whether or not that's useful for you. And of course, the baggies. Lots and lots of baggies for this hobby. All right, which brings me to my canvas. I did not know this was a square. I really like rounds better. I really wanted to do a round. All right, so this has 54 colors. Got my sticker. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do it even though it's a square. I've got it out, let's get it done. I got my bag of drills. Ah, let's open them and see if there's any that are really pretty that stand out. Oh, I can see some ABs, just a couple. I don't think this has any special tea drills. Um, as this is getting a really crinkly sound, I'm realizing I didn't put my mic on. Let's see. So it looks like you've got the, the white ABs. I can see that color. And then some blue and, woo! Some blue and some green that are ABs. That blue is super pretty. And then lots of other colors, corals, all kinds of blue greens. Oh, I think this might be my favorite color of the kit. Check this one out. Oh, and it's got a little stray yellow drill in there. We'll pick that out, no big deal. All right, let's look at the canvas. This is a small canvas. Even though that's a square, that shouldn't take me too long, says the person who will then probably spend six months on this thing because I just never know how much time I'll have for diamond painting. All right, let me put this down and pick this up. All right, this, this is my first finish of the year. This is the Princess and the Pea Kitty by Diamond Art Club. And I have started mounting it onto a 12 by 12 canvas. It's a 13 by 13. Um, you'll see that I overlapped the edges because I like that look. I've got dog hair on it. And this edge does have some white here, so you might want to paint that or not, but I think if it's hung high, you won't see it. And I haven't done my corners yet. I'll miter these corners down like this and get a staple on them, and then it'll hang flush against the wall. And I love, I love gallery wrapped, and I love that I can do these by myself. I bought stretcher bars from, here, I'm gonna show you how this Right, you literally you just kind of flatten it out like this, and a lot of people will um, cut their canvas. Let's see how that is. So you can do it that way, or you can fold it in this way. So there's a couple ways, and I always look to see what's going to look best from the front. A lot of people will cut their canvas to get rid of that excess, um, especially like right here. See, it does have a little bit of an overhang on the top, but because I'll hang this above the sight line of my daughter. As long as I can get the bottom corners to look okay, I'm not worried about it. Now, if you look really closely, you can see that when I pull it like that, a couple of those drills are loose. So I did just see one pop off. And to me, that's no big deal. Um, I can always replace them if I need to. And those corner drills aren't going to show when you hang it anyway. So you will lose it. I don't cut my canvases though, because um, I have to cough. So you might see that when you fold it, you lose a couple drills. I look like if I zoom in there, you can see that I've maybe two of them have popped off and that's okay to me. So I do save my extra drills now. So if I ever choose to remove this canvas because I didn't cut the corners, it'll still be in shape. I can just pull the staples right now. It's just being held by push pins. And actually these are my um, clothes pin push pins. So that's very temporary just to make sure I got it positioned correctly. So if I do choose to remove it, I'll just go into my extras and I'll replace those drills and it'll be no big deal. But because those corners are hidden, you won't see that when you hang it. And I just absolutely love the gallery wrap. Dick Blick has um, stretcher bars, very affordable. It works between maybe 10 and $18 for the stretcher bars, depending on how large your canvas is. You buy the bars um, one bar at a time, so you have to get two for the length and two for the width. This, I actually just used a 12 by 12 canvas that was in my craft stash from um, Michael's. Look at that shine. Isn't that beautiful? So I think I've told you all before on the channel, my daughter loves cats. So as soon as I get this finished, 
this will go hang up in her room. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I'll keep you updated. Is it going to be the sea turtle, soulmates, elephant in the dream, moon goddess? Who knows what's up next? They're all kitted up. All right. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.